It's me! <laughs> Great intro, Rod. Nailed it! Uh, so I'm just testing again. This is the third day of testing the live streaming here because I do plan to do some like formal, uh, regular live streaming. The It's Live live show. So that intro was just me testing out making sure the intro works because I'm hoping, hoping to have an It's Live live show tomorrow. Normally I would try to announce this on the Monday so it'd be a couple of days, and then, you know, it would go up on Wednesday. But I have had cold feet making a formal announcement because I just wanted to make sure that I got all the other projects I was working on cleared away and making sure that all this technology would work. So I'm, what I'm going to do right now is just jump over to the chat, and if anyone's ignoring my request for you to ignore this, please let me know you're ignoring it, <laughs> and you're here for the nothingness, as my demon says. Uh, let me know that the audio is okay, if you could. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Oliver, uh, Olivier, Oliver? Looks like there's an extra I in there, and so now I don't know. Olivier, I want to say Olivier B, I, but I'm probably wrong. Sorry. Um, yeah, I see you're refreshing, looking for the Nothing to See Here tutorial video and uh, game on Kickstarter. Keep checking, it'll show up. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, crazy, the crazed madman, uh, Christopher Keon. Audio's good. Okay, so I, I got a bunch of different video scenes that I want to skip through and test. So if you wouldn't mind sticking around and letting me know that everything's okay, not just that it looks okay, but the, the audio is coming through okay. Because sometimes when you switch scenes, you set up different scenes, the audio can be a little, little funny. So I, why don't we just do that right now? So here's a... I'm going to actually pop out the chat here, if you don't mind. Thank you everyone for continuing to ignore my request to ignore. Because it is really helpful having you here, so I'm not so lonely, and also so we can test these things and make sure it's it's working okay. So here's just a simple uh, table shot is what everyone should be seeing. Oh, we'll come back to this in a moment, by the way. This is a, there's a tutorial video coming out on Thursday for a game called Inkling. And uh, do I have the box? Oh yeah, the box is behind, it's been behind me all this time. Here's Inkling. It's from Osprey Games. And uh, I'm finding this to be a little bright. When I look at this, it seems a little bright. Let me just see if I can switch the, that. A little bright, a little better, I think. I think my skin tones don't look quite so blown out. All right. Yeah, so we'll come back to this in a moment. This is a little puzzle. This actually says something, and I'm not quite finished putting it together to give a proper clue to you, but I'll start making some adjustments to it a little bit later. We'll come back to this in a moment. I just thought, since you're, since you're here and we're doing this very ignorable thing, we should at least try to have some kind of little bit of fun. So this is another shot. So again, I should be over in the chat, but I'm not right now. I'll, I'll hop over in a second. Let me know. Is the audio okay still coming through here? You can see my face up in this little box and we can still see what's happening on, on the table, right? So why don't I just jump over to the chat before I get too much further and make sure everything's okay. <laughs> Yannick Simard, thank you so much for the super chat. That's very fun. Asking, are the batteries fully charged this time? Yes, they are. I, everyone, you don't have to hold your, your headphones away from your ears this time. Last live stream. Uh, I talked for, I, I don't know, a good five to ten minutes before I realized in the chat people were yelling and screaming, Rodney, all we're hearing is static and noise. The batteries in my lav mic died. 
I didn't realize this and it made for a terrifying experience. But you know what? The chat was hilarious throughout. I went back and watched and everyone was, was, uh, took it in good stride. So thank you, Yannick, for the reminder. And yes, that $2 will go towards the next batteries to ensure we don't have that kind of mishap again. All right, so everyone can still see my mug and, and, uh, and hear me. So that's, that's great. Okay, so let's, let's go to a different, uh, different scene here. What, what scene do I have next? Well, this one, this is gonna be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of nothingness, but hopefully you get the idea of what's going on here. This is so if I had three other guests, which might be happening tomorrow. Uh, anyone just joining now, we're gonna be doing a, hopefully, if this all goes well, and it's live live show tomorrow at a very different time than we normally do. Um, normally I have it at, I wanna say 7.30 Eastern time, and tomorrow the plan, I think, is to have it around 3 p.m. Eastern time, or thereabouts. There'll be a, if you check tomorrow, uh, there will be a thumbnail show up in the YouTube channel saying, hey, uh, upcoming live show, and it'll be scheduled there, and you'll be able to, con I'll, and I'll tweet about it and other things, but, uh, all right, so you, you should be able to see, <laughs> yes, I'm talking to Mr. and Mrs. Black and their son Black over here, so uh, three black screens where other heads would be, and again, the audio hopefully should be good, or they're invisible, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let me switch over to, this would be four people with a table showing, right? And again, let me check, check the chat. You guys can let me know if everything's okay. Hopefully it's all right. I see Christopher McKeon saying, yes, I'll be there. That's great, awesome. <laughs> Ambie's here for the, oh no, Ambi, you're here for the cube. That's right, last time, oh, I did put this in the thumbnail, didn't I? Yes, I did. I, um, I have been learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I, I learned earlier uh, this year. And I tried at the end of last uh, stream to solve it. And, you know, it was going okay. Again, I'm no master at this by any means. And um, I completely fell apart at the end. I think the nerves of doing it in front of people, I just, I got a little shaky. I could feel my hands. It was, ugh. So, all right, Ambie, I'll maybe, oh, if I build up the nerve, I'll try again. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so let me go to another uh, shot. So here, you should be seeing... Again, this would be me and then four other people, but now they'd be, you know, below. And again, audio hopefully is okay. And now we have uh, BGA, uh, Board Game Arena, on screen here as well. So if something was going on there, coming in from the internet, then that should be fine, hopefully. Hey, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal says, I got off work. And what do I see live on YouTube? My friend Rodney. Hi, my friend Crystal. <laughs> I was on live with uh, Crystal. Well, it... it it doesn't feel like that long ago. I was going to say recently, maybe it hasn't been that recently, but we, we were in the uh, strike tournament together and Crystal had the most fantastic gladiatorial uh, suit on. I mean, it was, Crystal came prepared for that live stream. I was so, it just filled my heart with joy. I loved it. Uh, so my demon says, the it's, the, the it's Live live show is a bit of a mouthful. How about watch it played live? Boring, but gets the point across. You know what? Uh, let me switch over to a different scene. We'll talk about that for a second. You're absolutely right. And, and traditionally, I try very hard, despite um, Chaz's efforts, to make the titles of the shows concise and clear. Uh, but uh, the It's Live live show, I don't know. I just, I'm kind of attached to it. It's the It's Live live show. I, I just like that. I don't know. I, it's going to be hard to sway me from that one. <laughs> it's live. It's a, it's a live show that's live. So uh, let's see, and, and by the way, if anyone wants to ask a question while we're here, since we're, we're kind of goofing around, feel free to. I got a few other things to, uh, to test out. But if you'd like to ask a question, just put question in all caps and then ask your question. I will try to catch them. Although sometimes, you know, it, it can be hard to catch everything. Um, but thanks for joining me tonight, anyone who is. Again, this is just a little test. We're just hanging out for a little bit and then we'll, we'll go our separate ways. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll come back uh, for an actual official, it's live, live show. Okay, <laughs> it's the pre-recorded live show, as Ray says. Uh, so Eric Silva says, what a software do you mainly use for streaming and organizing all these camera feeds? It has been asked before. I'll answer very quickly, because I, I, I think people who are interested in this sort of thing, it is fascinating too, and to everyone else it's dreadfully boring. Um, I use OBS software to stream. I have a GH5 camera overhead, and I have a Canon, uh, Canon Sony, Sony A7S III here, and I have, I'm using Camlink 4K inputs for the HDMI out on these two cameras. 
And I have uh, Sennheiser uh, lav mics. At some point in time, I will put together an FAQ video that covers all this stuff uh, because I really should do that. I, I understand people are curious. I get curious with those things too. So believe me, I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm interested in those sorts of things too, but I'm always sensitive about <laughs> everyone else being like, okay, we don't care. <laughs> Uh, Manas Shah, uh, Shah asks, what, who's coming on tomorrow? Or is it a surprise? Uh, let's say it's a surprise because things can always change at the last moment and I don't want to disappoint. So let's leave it as a surprise. <laughs> Hunter Ditchfield, question. I like Evolution the board game. I like Evolution the board game? Maybe it should be a... Are you asking? Do you like it? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you like it or not. I'm going to say you do. That's, I think, let's decide that you do. So uh, Ogrenaut asks, how often do you play games outside of Watch It Played? Uh, how often? It's been weird lately, frankly. Um, now, over the Christmas holidays, my daughter was home. We played a bunch of Ashes games, which I was just, oh, I was like a pig in mud. I was having so much fun. Oh, the tutorial video for the new Ashes Reborn just released today. If, you're, if you were curious about Ashes when it first released in 2015, but maybe didn't get into it, well, it's back. Baby, it's back and it's been refreshed and the rules have changed a bit, like the core of it is the same, but a number of little things have been tweaked and, oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I do enjoy that game. So I, I was very happy to get a few, a few games of that in, some party games, some family games. Uh, we were playing My City, but it goes, it comes in waves. A, a lot of my time is spent learning the game uh, so that I can do a video for it, shoot the video for it, and then work on the next video. My schedule is pretty packed that way, but I'm not... I'm not disappointed in how often I get to game or how often I don't get to game. Uh, I feel fortunate to be able to do this uh, for a living, and, and so uh, no complaints on my side. And I, I get I get enough gaming in to be to be content to keep my batteries charged. Long answer to that question. Sorry. And, and by the way, part of the reason too to answer these questions is kind of hang out here a little bit is. Um, and just also making sure that the stream doesn't crash or anything weird happen. <laughs> so, so the questions are helpful. Feel free to send them in. Uh, so Party Meeple says, I'd be super excited to be able to buy a Watch It Played tee made of Canadian Lumberjack Czech flannel. <laughs> I'd be happy to be able to sell uh, a plaid styled shirt of my own design uh, that is Watch It Played branded. I would, um, you know, I don't do a ton of stuff with merch, but I have to admit that is something that I would, I would enjoy <laughs> being able to do. <laughs> no pun included. Uh, do you ever go by any other Rodney variants? Rod, Rodders, Rodosaurus Rex? Well, Rodosaurus Rex, yes, of course. Everyone calls me that. <laughs> uh, no, Efka and or Elaine. Uh, I, I think Rodney and Rod is the most common. Sometimes I think from people in the UK, I get Rodders. Uh, Roddy, never, almost never, like maybe once. But I like, I like Rod or Rodney. That's, that's my favorites. I'm happy with that. Um, or hey, hey you, <laughs> that's fine too. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too fussy about what people call me. Uh, as long as they mean it with good intention, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever they choose. Uh, uh, Rob Jellybean, thanks for the kind word. I won't read that one out, I'll, I'll blush if I do, but thanks. <laughs> so Henry Whitehead would like to know what, hi Henry, by the way, uh, always nice to see you. What game are you best at? Ah, an opportunity to brag. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's, I don't know that there is a game that I'm best at. I have to imagine that's a pretty common answer from people who play lots of games, maybe. Um, maybe it's a common game amongst people who play a lot of different games because I never go so deep as to get particularly good at any one game. Again, because of the nature of my job, I'm, I'm, I'm never like sort of sticking with one game for a long time. Again, Ashes, I wouldn't say I was great at it, but there was a time when I would have said I had a reasonably competitive deck and I understood some good strategies and, and was decent with that. I think uh, with Watergate, I've played that quite a few times and I feel, again, pretty competent when I play that game, but I don't know that I have a game that I would say I'm, I'm best at particularly. Uh, what about you, Henry? If you have one, put it in the comments. If I don't see it during the scroll, maybe I'll, I'll catch it later. Uh, oh, by the way, let me just do one quick thing before I answer any, answer any other questions. Remember, don't forget, we also have this thing that we're going to come back to in a moment, a little, a little clue word thing that we'll, we'll solve before we go. But let me just do a little interlude. So don't worry, I am coming back, or maybe you like want me to go, so you'll be happy that I'm gone. But either way, I'm going to fire up the interlude. It's going to say a countdown of two minutes or so. I'm not going to let it run the whole two minutes.
That took a little longer than I planned. I <laughs> forgot how to come back. All right, so hopefully during that, you heard a little bit of music and you saw the little interlude. That's really just in case if something happened during a live stream and I'm like, I need to take a moment, <laughs> then I can do that and people won't be like, what's going on? When's he coming back? Uh, then you'll know. So uh, I think I saw a question in all, very large all caps from Hunter saying, question, do you like Evolution the Board? Oh, you were asking me if I like Evolution the Board Game. That makes more sense. Uh, I do like Evolution the Board Game. Yes, I did a, a tutorial video for that. I don't review on the channel, but as a general rule, if you see a video from me, uh, it means I like the game. I, I'm, I'm fortunate there's, you know, I, there's a lot of games that release and I, I have very broad tastes. Uh, and I am hired to create the tutorial videos that I, that I do, but I only do tutorial videos I want to do because um, I'm, I'm going to end up spending a lot of time with the game, you know, script, learning it, scripting it, shooting the video, and then I do my best to answer all questions forever on the videos. So if I was doing games I didn't like on some level, that would be very uh, soul-sucking. It, it, would, it would be difficult, I think, in the long run. And uh, I like that I can kind of come with enthusiasm and energy for the, the games that I'm featuring because in part, I enjoy them. Uh, I, I think you also have to be careful, though, not to read too much into that. Meaning, you know, just because I like it doesn't mean you'll like it. You know, uh, it doesn't mean it'll, it'll work for you. And I, it's not like I like all games equally as well. There's games I feature on the channel that some I like more than others or whatever. But um, if you see a game on the channel, you wonder, I wonder if he likes that game. Yeah, it's, I, I, I chose to do it because I, I like it on some level. I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose to do a game I didn't like. It wouldn't matter sort of like what how much money a public... Well, look, I'm not a dummy. If someone offered me $2 million, I, I might find a way to, <laughs> to, to make the video. But um, as a general principle, uh, my main concern is, is featuring games I want to feature so that I can support them for their entire life. Uh, Ogonaut, how do you like Trek in the World? I like it. That's another game I featured here on the channel. Um, so Jens wants to know, what games do you really like but are, but are very bad at? Very in all caps. Uh, like, I'm looking over at my, my shelf here. <laughs> can, I, can I be honest with you? Um, and maybe this is... Like, I don't know if I keep games that I'm really bad at. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if I play a game and I'm just really horrible at it, uh, I'm pretty aggressive about calling my collection. I'm not sure... It's not an ego thing. It's just, if I'm going to keep only so many games, am I really going to keep the ones that I'm terrible at. Like, I'll probably find games that I like and that I'm half decent at, if that makes sense. But I'm looking over here at Brass, Birmingham, and I by no means think I'm good at that. But the game makes my brain sweat. Uh, the King is Dead. Uh, another game that makes my brain sweat. Like, when I'm playing that, I feel the work I'm doing, and I love that kind of the hard work of it. The, the rules, not complex, but the the decisions are just so delicious, you know. Uh, if you want to hear more about The King is Dead, you can go check out, no pun included, actually. They have a great video on that, and, and one they covered recently. I don't want to spoil anything about where they covered it most recently, but... All right. Um, and look, we won't go much longer. This is, again, meant to be a quick test. But we've been going at this for, I don't know how long. Does somebody have a watch on? I do, but I don't know when I started. <laughs> so probably it's been about 20 minutes, I'm going to guess. Doom I 66 wants to know, what is your favorite game mechanic? And the stream just jumped here. Uh... Arthur Eames, I'm going to answer your question on the Rubik's Solve in a moment. Um, shoot, what was the question before that? I've lost it already. Oh, no. Oh. Carson, you got an interesting... Oh, I found it. I found it. What's your favorite game mechanic? It'd be difficult for me not to say... Like, let me just ramble off a few things. Like, I, I love worker placement, of course. I like deck building. Uh, I think one of the things I glommed onto was... And it was really... I have to, I have to credit Marty Cannell from Rolling Dice and Taking Names because when he said... I think one of my favorite game mechanics, or maybe his favorite is... Uh, multi-use cards. I think that is one of my favorites. I love when a card can be used in multiple different ways, particularly if you're holding it in your hand and you're like, I want to use these for everything and I can't and I have to make difficult choices. Like if I use this card for, you know, it generates gold for me, for me now I'm losing the ability to use it as an action to do something else. I, I like those kind of delicious, kind of challenging decisions. Uh, you know, a Glory to Rome, I think, is, is a good example of a multi-use uh, card kind of game, but there's there's lots of even like Dune Imperium. I would say is kind of multi-use, right? Because you're playing the cards there to, to determine where to place your workers. But the cards you don't play will then be ones you get to use later to to spend and to buy things with. Yeah. So Arthur Ames, you asked about did you miss the Rubik's solve? I don't know what you missed uh, exactly. I did attempt to try to solve it, 
And under the pressure of a live audience, I failed uh, miserably. I, I, I crumbled to pieces. I, 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 may, I may try to solve this at the end if people want me to try and fail again. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I won't fail again. Who knows? I'm saying we're, we've been going for about 18 minutes. So I said 20. Oh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, hey, uh, Cassie saying hello and greetings from Malaysia. Hello from Canada. Nice to have you here. Very nice. Uh, uh, Ahab saying Marvel Champions is kind of like that too. Yeah, a lot of games where you have card play, there is that kind of decision by using this you know, for, for one purpose or another, and uh, it's great. Uh, let's see. Kabuki Kid, delicious. Catching that a lot recently from certain reviewers or media folk. Oh, really? Maybe that's, uh, you know, sometimes it feels like certain words get stuck in, I think, the zeitgeist of talking about board games, and then everyone starts borrowing it, like fiddly or <laughs> elegant, you know, those sorts of things. And it can be a little bit contagious. Sometimes something just feels like it fits so nicely, like it evokes something, and then it becomes kind of the, the word du jour. And then sometimes because it gets so overused, it then loses all of that meaning, right? It feels like it's being applied to everything, and then it doesn't mean anything anymore. So hopefully we're still in the, in the period of time where when I say delicious, it means something to people. <laughs> and does it mean Eating them. Don't eat them. Speaking of which, if you haven't watched Paula Deming's Things Get Dicey video today, I recommend it. Um, and you might see why based on that reference. <laughs> Josh, thank you for the kind words. Very nice. Um, so Abby R. says, Hi, fellow Canadian. Hello to you. What do you feel about Kickstarter? Would you run a Watch a Play Kickstarter to support your YouTube like other channels are doing? Well, thanks for the question. I have actually run fundraisers in the past. Not Kickstarter, because back when I was running fundraisers for the channel, uh, I couldn't as a Canadian. They just didn't allow it. They do now. So I would run them on Indiegogo. And that was a, a great way to fundraise because at the time the show wasn't uh, self-sustainable and I needed that additional income from, from viewers. So that was really helpful. I don't run them now um, because thankfully with the growth of the channel and people's support over time, it's grown enough to the point where I can sustain it off of the tutorial video work that I do for the most part. Now I'm kind of bumping up against a little bit of a wall there again because we're expanding the channel. So, you know, um, working with Chaz and Paula and Matthew, that's added some, some expenses to the channel. Good expenses. I'm very happy to have those expenses. But now, you know, it's a different kind of juggling act. That's always, I think, the challenge of uh, entrepreneurship, whether it's YouTube or whatever the case may be, uh, is growing and then matching that growth and finding the resources to continue to expand uh, the way you want. And, and maybe also like not just growing for growth's sake. You know, I, I want Watch It Play to continue to grow, but I want to grow in good directions and make good choices. And hopefully we're continuing to do that. Not everyone will like every change that you make. That's a reality. But you, you just kind of hope that most people uh, have faith in what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing. And you find, you know, your crowd. You find the people who like what you're doing and you, you try your best to cater to that along with catering to what you find fulfilling. Because I think... You know, if you try to please, I mean, I'm sure everyone's heard about this sort of talk before, but if you try to please everyone, uh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no way you can do that. There's, you just can't. And uh, if you fail to please yourself in the middle of that, that has a cost too, you know, at, at the end of the day. Especially if you, if you want to keep getting up every day and doing this sort of stuff day in, day out, right? And so Adam says, flesh and blood is good for the multi-use cards, using them for money to attack or defend. I actually have a little pack of flesh and blood. I haven't played it yet. Uh, my friends over at Team Covenant who are trying to... Uh, hook me like a couple of junkies, <laughs> sent me some to check out, so, which I hope to do soon when I get a chance. All right, I'm, you know what, let, let's, uh, let's try to wrap this up a little bit because there's all kinds of great questions here and I'd love you all to come back, maybe, for tomorrow's It's Live live show and ask some of these questions there. We'll be doing lots of other things. We'll have some, some games, like I said, maybe some guests, maybe a contest or two. Who knows? We all, I always try to fill it with a few different things to keep it moving and hopping. So uh, let's, for a moment though, since you're here, let's go to the table. So. This is a game called Inkling. I'm not using it in the correct way that one should, but let me give you a quick summary, which is spoiling kind of the tutorial video. But in brief, a player will have a list of words and they're trying to get their, their uh, opponents actually to guess them. So it's not a cooperative game, although it's sort of semi-cooperative. Semi you know what, let me switch to a different screen where you can still see my face. Hi, hi everybody, my little box here. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a competitive game, but you're going to be all working together in this, this weird way that I, again, I try not to be too review-y about the games that I'm doing tutorials for, but ah, some of you might enjoy this, is what I'm trying to say. So you, you can really do almost anything as you arrange out your letters. So I'm going to try to create a message for you right now, and feel free in the comments 
of this video to, to shout out what you think this represents. So I'm going to, let's see. Now I haven't, I haven't got anything too wild here and creative, but you can get really, really creative with how you uh, align things. Uh, let me just do this. So again, I feel like this is probably not giving you much to work with. Let me do that maybe. And you can do things like I'm doing here where I'm actually overlapping face up cards as well, right? But let me, let me block that in maybe. Maybe that's, maybe, maybe we do. I'm sure somebody at this point is getting a feeling for what we're going for here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this will bring it home. Uh, there we go. <laughs> How about that? Does that, anyone, I should check the comments and see. Maybe someone's, that's right. There we go. It's live show. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The It's Live live show. So, so that's a little, little teaser of Inkling, which again, the, the tutorial will be dropping on Thursday. It's like nine minutes. It'll be very fast to watch if you're curious at all about it. You know, I feel kind of bad for the, uh, the publisher in a way. This is the kind of game where, you know, if, if conventions were open and people were able to be together, you'd see a lot of people, I think, playing together. The nice thing is, though, I do think this one would be very um, zoomable or Skypeable or what have you. Um, you could definitely play easily as long as, as long as everyone had a, had a copy of the game. So, so that is Inkling. Let's come back here. <laughs> Funkle Factory. Samsonite, way off. Well, I like it. You swung for the fences. Well, okay, so let's, let's see. I, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to solve this. Uh, like I said, this is something I, solving a Rubik's Cube was something that just, I don't know, somewhere at the beginning of this year, or sorry, last year, kind of popped into my head is, I'd like to learn how to finally solve my Rubik's Cube, for crying out loud. There must be a way to do it. I'm sure there must be. I see people do it and like so solve it in three seconds. Well, I won't be doing that. I tell you that right now. <laughs> I, I think last time I said I would estimate it would take me two minutes. And that's what I, if I don't get stage fright, that's what will happen here, maybe. Um, we'll see. So, and, and also, if anyone else is curious about learning how to solve roofs, maybe you like, oh, I, I, I'd be curious to learn how to. I didn't drop a link into the last video, but I will try to remember to do that for this one. Uh, I think it's J Perm. You know what, another thing I have, actually, let's, let's look together. Why don't we do that? Uh, that's another feature I wanted to actually try. Now, that said, um, you know, there were definitely a few moments in that video where I had to pause and go, I'm not quite getting it. And it took a little bit of holding it up, doing, making a mistake, backtracking, like backtracking to the beginning so I could then get to the point where I lost track of what was going on. But I, I found it to be very good. And uh, basically, you have to memorize a few patterns. Now, people who are really good, who can solve it, you know, again, in three, four seconds, they're memorizing bazillions of patterns, and then, bazillion might be an exaggeration, and then, uh, you know, all the muscle memory comes into play, I imagine, right? And you're just, like, you're seeing sides, you, you just instinctively know what to do. I don't have any of that. This is going to be uh, much more boring than that. But shall, shall we do a little test? If anyone has a watch and wants to time it, uh, you can let me know, uh, and I will, I will try. Oh, it says, when you switch to the screen to look up Rubik's Cube video, YouTube, the audio was gone. I'm so glad we switched over there. That is good to know. Let me, let me see if I can fix that right now, okay? Uh, give me one second. This will just take a moment. If you don't mind, we are here today to test these sorts of things so that tomorrow when I do this, it doesn't happen. Okay, so everyone, we're gonna go back. Actually, we're still at the internet right now. Sorry, are we? Uh, what's going on? What's wrong with me? Okay. Okay, so right now, I don't know if you've lost me. Oh, gosh. Uh, it says now it works. Much better now. Okay, so let me go back over to the internet. Sorry, I got, I got confused by myself there. So here we are back over at the YouTube channel, and presumably you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, so good. I'm going to come back to the 
and shop. The other nice thing about doing these live streams with you is I can watch this back afterwards and I can sort of listen and see, did anything go funny? But it sounds like it got fixed. Yes. Okay. Re Refalonic says, hey, first time I catch you live. Is it the first time? Is this the first time the show's been live? No, we've had a number of live shows, actually. We, um, the It's Live live show is intended to be like every other Wednesday, in theory. And there were times when that was true <laughs> for a month, <laughs> maybe. But that is the goal. The intended goal is to every, every other Wednesday, at least twice a month is the idea. But the reality is sometimes when the other work uh, piles up, then I, I really need to focus there rather than the live show. But I tell you, I really enjoy being able to jump in here and interact with you in this way in the live show. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a personal connection, right? And I, I, I appreciate that, that people are taking their time. So, so yes, but we can hear the video on YouTube now. But can we, hear, oh, someone asking, can they hear the video? Shall we go over there and see? I, I don't know, actually, that's a good question as well. Let's bounce over, I'll hit play, and I'll be quiet so you won't hear me. I'll let it play. And then I'll talk a little bit and we'll figure it out, is what I'm saying. We'll get over there and figure it out. Okay, so I'm talking right now. Uh, let me hit play on this. I don't think the audio is coming through here for you. I mean, you're hearing me, but I don't think you're hearing anything. Yeah, no, I don't think you are. I, I can probably fix that if you don't mind hanging on for one moment. Huh, that's a little weird. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it come through, but this is actually bad that it's not this one is a corner piece working. I think now you can probably hear it. These edge ones in the middle. So we're gonna take this one. Uh, make sure you have the white on top. Take this piece from the bottom. Yeah. So unfortunately, unfortunately, it seems like at least with the current settings that I have here, I am not able to get the audio coming in from uh, another Windows device that's playing YouTube, that's playing sounds off the internet, I believe. Not your concern, sorry, I don't mean, I'm, I'm now like boring you with things I need to solve later, but, and yeah, you could hear, but it was quiet, yeah, I, I found it was quiet too, but, hmm. Well, all right, something for me to figure out later. All right, so, <laughs> but yes, back to the cube. All right, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, we're, uh, oh boy, all right, so, Anyone want to start a watch? I will, I will start. Now, I'll start now, okay. Uh, like I said, this is, uh, oh. See, immediately, immediately I'm self-conscious. My, my hands, they feel like they're going, they're, they're uh, yeah. They're just going through molasses right now. <laughs> so the first thing uh, that they recommend you do is you saw, you make a, a white cross at the bottom and, and then don't try to talk while you do it, because that'll, that'll mess you up for sure, which is what was happening to me. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. So I remember I said it was gonna be like, it would be two minutes. It might be uh, three, uh, three minutes now. It might be three minutes, okay. So the bottom, bottom solved, okay. Uh, now, now, now we gotta do some other things. We gotta solve the, uh, we gotta solve the sort of the middle layer. Let's try to do that, shall we? Okay, this part I'm actually I'm, I'm not half bad at, and I, I quite enjoy solving this part of the Rubik's cube because I can I can do it with a little bit of speed. Okay, uh, oh no, there's still one section that's not quite there. The other thing is uh, I don't when I see speed cu cubers go, I don't think they're typically talking while they do it. I don't know. All right, so now solved. So this this part of the, the cube is done. Uh, so now can uh, can we get what am I doing? Right, gotta gotta get the top part, which is, oh gosh, no, that's, that's bad. That's, that's just a mess. Uh, sorry, 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 no, nope. okay. So now we've got a yellow cross here, which is, which is lovely, but <laughs> this, is the, this is where I fell apart last time. This is where I fell apart last time, and I'm gonna fall apart again right now because I'm very nervous about messing up again. All right, I didn't, I didn't mess up again, so that's, that's exciting for me. Uh, We're, you know, we're sort of, we're sort of getting there. We're sort of, things are starting to happen. Things are starting to come together. If I don't lose my nerve yet, <laughs> or now, then there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a very good chance. There, done. <laughs> okay. 
gosh. Three minutes? Four minutes? I don't know. I lost all sense of time. Everything felt like it was taking forever. My hands were jelly. <sighs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Monique, for the uh, super chat. <laughs> Very kind of you. And thank you for your uh, fun, encouraging sing-along today on Twitter. That was fun. Monique uh, posted a little, hey, if you feel like dropping a few bars into a little Twitter video, why don't you? And, and different people were singing little, little songs. That was fun to do. So, yes. So, again, uh, before I watch that video, the one I shared earlier, it's the channel's J Perm, J P E R M, solve a Rupes cube in 10 minutes. I had no idea how to do it. I could solve one side, but I would solve the side entirely wrong, meaning like this was right, but then the actual other edges of it were completely wrong. So I found going through that video slowly and methodically and just learning one step at a time, like when they teach you how to get the, the cross, just doing that over and over and over again until I was comfortable doing that and then adding in, filling in the corners, learning that. And um, I think I had it by the end of the day. It didn't, you know, I didn't do this all day. <laughs> but, you know, learning a little piece, going away, fiddling while I was doing something else, it, it kind of worked. So <laughs> thanks for the kind words, everyone, on this, this major accomplishment of mine. But, it, you know, it, it was satisfying to do. It was satisfying to do to be like, well, I'm over 40 years old and I've learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube, something I was not able to do since childhood or ever, you know, so that was... That was fun. And thank you. Thank you, Party Meeple, for the applause and the super chat. Very kind. Well, uh, listen, I think that's, um, that's, that's a full night. I know I'm smiling, but I'm exhausted now. I'm like sweating. I'm, yeah, I'm uh, beside myself from that exertion. So maybe, maybe we wrap things up here. Thanks, everyone, for jumping in and not ignoring and, and being a part of this little test uh, to run. It gives me confidence that tomorrow, if I try to run It's Live Live show, things will go relatively smoothly, I think it's something I can commit to doing. So if you would like to see more live content, something that's a little more planned and programmed, then uh, join us tomorrow, the exact time to be announced. You'll see me announce it on Twitter if you're following me there as Watch It Played. Uh, where else do I post it? Oh, over on the Board Game Geek Guild. We have a Board Game Geek Guild for Watch It Played, and I always announce it in there. And of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, a little thumbnail will pop up uh, sometime tomorrow morning in my time saying, hey, live show later today. So you'll be able to see it then. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for the kind words. I'm seeing lots of nice, nice things. Uh, thanks, Geek Your Maker. I hope, look forward to seeing you as well. Uh, thanks, Arthur, for joining. Kabuki Kid, the Crazy Madman, Bill Burge. Um, <laughs> thank you for the kind compliment. <laughs> That's very nice of you to say. Uh, thank you, Oliver B. Again, everyone. Just, just nice to, nice to be here and to, and to not have to test this thing alone, and to get independent confirmation that the audio is working, the video is working, and to catch that issue with YouTube. That was great. Very helpful. Thank you. All right, everyone. Oh, and, and uh, <laughs> hello to you too, goofball. <laughs> There's uh, Pair of Dice Paradise joining us. Hey, Chaz. Good to see you. Good night, everyone. Take, oh, and as we say goodbye, I'm going to test the outro stuff. Let's see, if, let's see if I can make that work with some amount of efficiency. It won't be, but we'll see. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.